Max Ernst, 1891-1976 Forest and Sun, Nocturnal Landscape, 1928 In the latter half of the 1920s, Max Ernst painted a series of canvases which he entitled Forest. These mostly show a few bare, mysteriously illuminated tree trunks set against a dark nocturnal landscape and a large celestial body, half concealed, radiating as a ring or a disc from the middle of the picture. Here and there, the outline of a bird can also be glimpsed. Our picture shows a close-up view of the forest. Only the middle part of the tree trunks can be seen. The dark suspended celestial body is partially hidden behind them. The title describes the celestial body as the sun. At the same time, however, it adds that the landscape is nocturnal. Perhaps a solar eclipse is what is meant. As Max Ernst was a prominent representative of the Surrealist movement, neither the title nor the depiction need follow the rules of logic. To create this picture, Max Ernst used a technique that he dubbed grattage. First, he painted a colored background. Then he covered it with black. Just before the paint was dry, he scraped away parts of it using a spatula, probably on a support of grained wood. He then repainted some sections in black, red, blue, and light brown. The technique makes the colors of the underlying layer shimmer through, creating a structure reminiscent of bark or rocks. It also reveals the artist's joy in experimentation and inventiveness. The painting reflects feelings of loneliness and isolation, fear and constriction. It stands between apparent and imagined or dreamed reality, between inner and outer worlds. It thus embodies the credo of surrealist painting, which holds that art is meant to conjure forth images of the unconscious. It also harks directly back to the artist's childhood, Max Ernst described one of his childhood memories in an autobiography. Mixed feelings as he stepped into the forest for the first time, enchantment and oppression, and that which the Romantics christened the feeling of nature, the wonderful joy of breathing freely in an open space, yet at the same time beset by anxiety, feeling locked in by a ring of hostile trees, outside and inside at the same time, free yet imprisoned. Visit the Museum of Fine Arts Ban and see the original works and download the free app Museen Ban from the App Store.